We have finished up our tournament play. Uh, we've gone to three tournaments. We posted and, and visited two tournaments. And in those matches, we've been progressing and we've gotten better each week. And that's an encouraging fact. We've also been um, experimenting with a, a couple different lineups, and exploring a 5-1 and a 6-2. Um, we're definitely farther along and more prepared for Ivy now after these past three weeks um, than when we started practicing in, on August 19th. So we're on our way, and we're excited for the challenge of Ivy League play coming up this Saturday, and before that, we have Binghamton on Friday. Some of the bright spots of our team have been um, our outside hitting positions. Uh, we're, we're fairly young in that we have uh, three sophomores and one freshman, and they've been having some strong statistics in that area. So considering that they're a fairly young um, part of our team, we're very pleased with how uh, their, their hitting and blocking has been progressing. Our defense and scrappiness has, has been a bright spot. We're in, in blocking. We've been touching a lot of balls, and our goal is to continue to touch even more balls and have more impact on our opponents' offensive schemes. Um, we're really progressing in that way, and, and the next development of our team is to continue to progress with our offense and improving our side-out percentage. Uh, it, this season we've had uh, some great balance in, on our team. I think that's represented by the three uh, players that have each earned all-tournament honors this season. Uh, Janelle Fort, our sophomore outside, earned all-tournament or Cornell Inf Invitational. Megan Tatum, our senior right side, uh, earned honors at VCU. And this past weekend, senior setter Jordan Reeder was all-tournament in Buffalo. So we've had uh, the range and positions um, be represented in who's been leading our team. And I think that's a testament to our balanced gameplay and how each person has an opportunity to lead our team and and uh, help us improve each week and I think that's a, a great testament of where we're we're going this year. Against Binghamton on Friday we match up well. Um, they have some new um, players on their squad that they've been working with and um, in our play the past few years because they're a regional uh, foe that we see frequently as well as in the spring. Um, it's been some great competition so we're excited for that kind of yearly battle with Binghamton. It should be a great chance for us to return home to Newman Arena um, and face Binghamton. Uh, we have high hopes and uh, we're going to be working hard to secure that win and, and, and go into the Ivy League play on Saturday against Columbia uh, with a victory in hand. Columbia has played a challenging preseason schedule also. Um, they have been experimenting a bit with, with their uh, lineups and, and working to develop their team this preseason as well. So I really think it's going to be a battle. Uh, Columbia is our travel partner and we're going to face them again in October. But I think this first matchup is really going to be one of the marquee Ivy League matching, matches for us this year and we get to start right out of the gate with Ivy League play with Columbia at home.